right we'll start with a new chapter a return of income see this chapter is relatively important for this exam why because there is one amendment in the due date uh, when it comes to return of income what we we'll learn in this chapter we will learn about uh, different forms of return how to file a return what is the procedure when you have done a, a mistake uh, that's called to amend the return we will file nothing but revised return in a case if the department notice a defect we can file what's a defect return lot of many other concepts you learn in this chapter we'll start with introduction first yeah please start sir return of income yeah see return of income chapter is dealt by section number 139 section 139 of income tax act deals with what return of income very beginning what i'm taking is nothing but simply introduction right yeah please start sir return of income yeah return of income refers to a declaration of income given by ssc to the income tax department see if you observe the word there is a declaration matlab see whenever you earn an income you have to give a declaration to government of india right the declaration is being done on annual basis matlab for a previous year we file a return in the assessment year for the complete previous year we give a declaration to the government this is my income now let the government make an assessment subsequently but from our side we should make a declaration please read the point again return of income refers to mm. a declaration of income mm. given by ssc to the income tax department yeah obviously everyone has to make declaration for your knowledge sir the declaration has to be made completely online we got some different forms itr1 itr2 itr3 going further i'll let you know that different forms are there applicable to different ssc's using those forms we need to file the return right now all the declarations will go completely online indirectly we can simply say that uh, the return filing is completely online right yeah please sir this declaration is called as return of income yeah that's called return of income you yeah, don't go with the literal meaning return of income matlab income piche aana wo nahi hai yahan pe matlab return matlab filing a return with the government right continue return of income is filed in assessment year and is filed in the forms notified by cbdt yeah see central board of direct taxes uh, notifies the form in which you are supposed to file return going further i'll discuss what all forms are relevant that would be only for knowledge checks exam they will not test you write the form number bolke right ha huh. go further sir the notified forms are itr1 to itr7 yeah itr that's called income tax return itr is nothing but what income tax return these are the relevant forms to you continue for the previous year return of income is filed in the assessment year and the due dates are as follows yeah hold a minute i think this point already we have learned in set of and carry forward chapter you remember na yes sir in set of and carry forward chapter what we have learned whenever you are supposed to file a return you have to file it within the due date why in a case if you don't file the return of income within due date certain losses you cannot carry forward are yaad aa rahe na kahan pe discuss kiye set of set and of carry, carry forward chapter mein if you remember leaving house property loss leaving unabsorbed depreciation leaving this to any other loss if you want to carry forward you need to file a return of income within due date तो वहाँ पे मैंने डिस्कस किया था व्हाट इज द रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम ड्यू डेट जनरली द रिटर्न ऑफ ड्यू डेट इज व्हाट सर 31st ऑफ जुलाई जुलाई एवरी पर्सन हैज टू फाइल रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम ऑन और बिफोर 31st ऑफ जुलाई ऑफ व्हाट सर असेसमेंट ईयर मतलब फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर से 2021 2021 वन आपका रहेगा प्रीवियस ईयर वेन यू आर सपोज टू फाइल द रिटर्न ऑन और बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी दिस इज अ जनरल ड्यू डेट हाउ वरी फिर फॉर सर्टन पर्सन मतलब देर आर थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ पर्सन फॉर विच ड्यू डेट इज थर्टी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर अमेनमेंट आया बताता हूँ आपको In a case if you are a company, in a case if you are a company, the due date is what 30th September. In a case if your books of accounts are subject to audit, अगर आपके books audit कराना है आपको under section 44 AB, then also the due date to file return is what sir 30th, 30th September. September. Likewise, if you are a partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit, please समझो ये point को. I am Ashwin Nilda is a partner of ABC and Co. ABC and Co is subject to audit. Then what is the due date for me to file return? Same 30th September. Am I clear? So company case, audit case. Partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit. For all these three people, the due date is what, sir? 30th, 30th September. September. Now, important point. This 30th September has now become 31st of October. I mean, indirectly, government says 30th September will become the due date uh, for uh, filing tax report, the tax audit report, right? Yes, now, I mean, file audit report file. Karo. After that, you are supposed to file what, sir? Return. And then, whenever the books of accounts are subject to audit, uh, auditor required certain time. So, government has extended the due date by one month. So, what is the old due date? 30th, 30th September. September. New due date is what? 31st of, of October. October. Am I clear? Yes, sir. I'll repeat the whole point again. Generally, what is the due date? 31st, 31st of, of July. Generally, 31st of July. But in the case if you are a company, if your books of accounts are subject to audit, or you are a partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit. When I say firm, it is partnership firm as well as what? LLP. LLP. So in the case if you are a partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit, then what is the due date for you? Same 30th of uh, September. Now the answer is 31st of October. In these three cases, the due date is 31st of October. Amendment है याद रखना लिखा दूँगा. I'll update the notes. See one more case is there which may not be relevant for IPCC, but still 
सी समटाइम्स वेन यू डू इंटरनेशनल ट्रांजेक्शन मतलब इंडायरेक्टली आई एम सिटिंग इन इंडिया आई एम बाइंग गुड्स फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इंडिया और आई एम डूइंग सेल्स ट्रांजेक्शन आउटसाइड इंडिया गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल टेल यू प्लीज एंश्योर दट द ट्रांजेक्शन दट यू डू इज एट आर्म्स लेंस प्राइस दट्स ऑल सी ए फाइनल कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो वेन यू आर सपोज टू डू अ इंटरनेशनल ट्रांजेक्शन यू आर सपोज टू सबमिट अ रिपोर्ट बाई अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट दट रिपोर्ट इज कॉल नथिंग बट वॉट्स अ ट्रांसफर प्राइजिंग रिपोर्ट सेक्शन नाइनटी टू ई यू लर्न इन सी ए फाइनल सो वंस यू आर सपोज टू सबमिट अ टी पी रिपोर्ट टू द गवर्मेंट दैन वॉट इज द ड्यू डेट टू फाइल द रिटर्न थर्टियथ ऑफ नवंबर आई मे क्लियर विद दिस अमेंडमेंट आया ध्यान से थर्टियथ सेप्टेंबर एज नाउ बिकम वॉट सर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर कैन यू स्लोली रीड सर स्लोली सर For the previous year, hmm. return of income is filed in the assessment year, yeah. and the due dates are as follows. Yes. Generally, the yeah. due date is 31st of July of assessment yeah, year. Yeah, there's a general due date. मतलब if anyone asks you what is the due date of filing, you should always say 31st of July. So these are the special cases. Yes, continue, sir. However, in the following three cases, return of income due date is 31st of October. Yeah, this is not. Ha, huh, very good, sir. You have corrected, na? Yes. So now this is changed, sir. There is an amendment here. See, intentionally I am not uh, changing the notes. I will write here. Amendment आ गया. The amendment is what? Now the due date is 31st of October. October. Yeah. What are those three cases, sir? Please read. However, mm-hmm. in the following three cases, mm-hmm. written off income due date is mm-hmm. 31st of October. Yes, please, sir. If the S C is a company. Yeah. In a case, uh, if the person who is filing return for whom you are filing return is a company. मतलब let it be public company, private company, listed company, unlisted company. profit making company loss making company does not really bother let it be one day company also for every company the due date to file return is what sir 31st of october continue sir if the books of accounts are subject to audit under section 44 ab yeah this we'll learn in uh, this uh, business and profession chapter generally you remember sir whenever your turnover exceeds 1 crore rupees or if you are into profession and your gross receipt exceeds how much sir 50 lakhs then your books of accounts are subject to audit as per business and profession chapter so whenever your books of accounts are subject to audit then what is the due date to file return 31st, 31st of, of october ab dhyan se suno the due date to file return is 31st of october but the due date to file tax audit report is 30th september only wo main sikhaunga aapko matlab generally one month before you are supposed to file tax audit report after that you are supposed to file what sir income tax return earlier both the dates were same return ka date or tax audit ka date dono same tha abhi government ne alag alag kar diya government says when you when you are a chartered accountant when he is submitting the report to the department he should submit on 30th september but return filing should be what sir 31st of october theek hai chalo continue in case if assess is a partner of a firm and firm books are subject to audit yeah so there are total three cases case number 1 is nothing but company case case number 2 is nothing but audit case case number 3 is nothing but you are a partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit i am clear hmm. yes sir clear yes sir yeah please continue note yeah in case of assessees who is supposed to submit a transfer pricing report under section 92 capital e hmm. the due date to file return is 30th of november of assessment year yeah so this is no change sir the answer is still same if you are supposed to submit a transfer pricing report under section 92 e of income tax now what is transfer pricing report simple bhasha mein whenever you have done international transaction for those international transaction you should take a certification from a chartered accountant that the transaction it says arms length price matlab you have not cheated the department simple bhasha mein matlab the transaction has been done with outsiders as if you are doing with outsiders am i clear the report is called nothing but what's a transfer pricing report and thereby the due date to file return would be what's a 30th of november am i clear yeah continue sir note 2 yeah if an assessee carries on business and business turnover exceeds 1 crore then books of accounts are subject to audit already maine bola hai this is for business sir for profession the limit would be how much sir 50 lakh rupees this points are discussed in business and profession chapter continue note 3 yeah a transfer pricing report is required when an entity does any transaction with an entity outside india mm-hmm. being associate enterprise yeah that we are aware sir this point you learn in ca final it's not there in your syllabus ab ca final mein padhoge ye point right ha huh. next point i am clear with this now what we have learned till now What is the due date to file return of income? Sir, ये due dates कहाँ दिया है sir? All these due dates are given in section 139, subsection 1. Section 139, subsection 1 of Income Tax Act deals with uh, the due date to file return. So, what is the general due date? 31st of July. Sometimes uh, 31st of October. Sometimes 30th, 30th of November. November. Am I clear? So, for the previous year, you filed return in which year? Assessment year. Continue, sir. A return in which losses are declared is called as loss return. Yeah, section 139 uh, cap. Yeah, please, sir. Three. Section one thirty nine, sub section three. You know what is loss return? You confuse me, though. I mean, there is no return called loss return, sir. In a case, if you are filing return by declaring losses, those losses uh, are called nothing but what, sir? Those losses government allows you to carry forward. 
so government says if you want to carry forward current year loss don't forget this point is applicable for what sir current year if you want to carry forward current year loss to the next year you need to file the return of income within due date am i clear so section 139 subsection 3 makes it very clear if you want to carry forward loss return filing should be within due date even if you are late by one single day you cannot carry forward the current year loss am i clear see exception to this point would be what you know house property loss as well as unabsorbed depreciation house property loss you can always carry forward whether or not you have filed return like as unabsorbed depreciation always you can carry forward whether or not you have filed return am i clear yes sir superb this point is already we have learned in set of and carry forward chapter please continue sir in a case if return is not filed in time uh -huh. it can be filed belatedly yes. section 139 sub section 4 yeah see this is an introduction late matlab kitna late ho can you say 1995 return i want to file today it's 25 years late you cannot be so much late right so this section will guide you what is the maximum time limit which you can be late, right? So, I'm studying. I'm just telling you, okay, if I did not file my return in due date, what can I do? Government says, no problem. Still, you can file return as what, sir? Belatedly. So, this is called nothing but what, sir? Belated return. Are you bolona? Yes, sir. This is called belated return. Belated return is discussed in which section? Section 139, subsection 4. We'll, we'll discuss. Continue. If a return is filed with mistakes, mm -hmm. it can be revised. Mm -hmm. Such return is called as revised return. Now, what is revised return? Nothing but, sir. Revised means, I have filed a return, maybe in time or maybe lately. Maybe kuch ho gaya. return to file kiya. But there are certain mistakes. Maybe I have overclaimed depreciation. Or there are some mistakes in depreciation working. Opening stock working is wrong. Closing stock working is wrong. Government says, no problem. Once you have filed a return, if you want to revise it, there is a still scope for revision. And those revision provisions are discussed where, sir? Section 139, subsection 5. So, point number 7 is about what, sir? Revised revise return. return. Can you read the point again, sir? If a return is filed with mistakes, mm -hmm. it can be revised. Okay. Such return is called as revised return. Yeah, continue. In a case, if notice of defect is received from income tax department, okay. and subsequently such defects are corrected, mm -hmm. then it is called as defective return. Yeah, now, see, to understand, if you identify your mistakes, you will go and revise. After filing return, if department identify your mistakes, that's called defective return. In both the cases, we do revision only. Confuse matho. Aapke mistake are aap dun loge. Your mistakes, if you identify, it's called revised return. If your mistake department identifies, that's called nothing but what, sir? Defective return. So, defective return is discussed in which section? Section 139, subsection 9. Shall I? Yes, sir. So, this is called defective return. So, till now what we have seen, just we'll just casually revise the section number. Section 139, 1 deals with what, sir? Due dates. Section 139, 1 deals with what, sir? Due dates to file the return. Due dates are what? 31st of July, 31st, 31st of, of October, October 30th, 30th of, of November. November. Amendment aya dhyan se. Second point what we have seen. Loss. In, haan, in a case, if you want to make a declaration of losses, you can always make a declaration of losses by filing a return, which is called Section 139, subsection 3, right? Yes, sir. After filing return, if you want, no, no, no. If you have not filed the return within time, you want to revise the return, you can file, uh, if you have not filed a return in time and you want to file a return now, that's called nothing but what sir? Belated, belated return. return. Belated return is given in section, section 139, subsection 4. After filing return, if you want to go for revision of a return, it is given in which section? Section 139, subsection 5. Next point. After filing return, if department identifies your mistake, that return if you want to revise now, that's called nothing but what sir? Defective return. Section 139, subsection 9. Am I clear? Yes sir. Yeah, please continue sir. Return of income should be verified by authorized person, that mm -hmm. is signature to return of income, section 140. Hmm. Huh. This is very very important sir, from exam perspective, see the word signature has now been replaced with the word called what you know, verification, because see when I say the word signature, you get like physical form, I say sign karenge, I say pen say sign karenge, but I said you at the introduction itself, all the returns are filed electronically. So, electronically you cannot sign now. So, government has replaced our signature with what you know, verification. You should be knowing that other based OTPs are generated. Or maybe you can do it, what's a digital signature you can do. This is most important point, sir. Maybe in exam they will test you who should file whose return and how you should verify it, right? Now, example, can I sign the return of my client? Answer should be no, right? Because declaration should be given by the client. He should only verify the return. As chartered accountant cannot verify the return of the client. Am I clear? So, all those points we will learn, learn in which section? Section number 140. Please read the point again. Return of income should be verified by hmm. authorized person. That yeah. is signature to return of income. Signature. So, better to replace that word signature with what you know? Verification. Usko replace kar do sir word. Signature nikal ke. Uska naam lik do. Verification. Likho, likho. Aap log bhi likho. Yes, sir. Verification to return of income. Chalenge? Are you
चलिए सर समरी असेसमेंट आफ्टर फाइलिंग रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम मतलब ऑल दीज आर इनडायरेक्टली आई एम क्रिएटिंग द इंडेक्स फॉर द चैप्टर नो वॉट इज समरी असेसमेंट आई टेल यू डोंट कन्फ्यूज विद द वर्ड कॉल समरी असेसमेंट सी वंस यू फाइल द रिटर्न गवर्नमेंट शुड हैव टू एक्नोलेज यू राइट दट द रिटर्न हैज बिन एक्सेप्टेड बोल के ठीक है वेदर दे एक्सेप्ट और नॉट सम एक्नोलेजमेंट दे शुड जनरेट टू अस सो वंस आई फाइल रिटर्न गवर्नमेंट गिव्स मी एन एक्नोलेजमेंट दट योर रिटर्न हैज बिन सक्सेसफुली प्रोसेस्ड दट एक्नोलेजमेंट दे गिव्स इन सेक्शन वन फोर्टी कैपिटल ए दट्स कॉल नथिंग बट समरी असेसमेंट शेल वी गो सर सर टैक्स रिटर्न प्रिपेयर टी आर पी कॉन्सेप्ट इज देर सर सपोज इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू फाइल माई ओन रिटर्न वाई बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव मच नॉलेज ऑन टैक्सेशन I am just not talking as a chartered accountant. I am just talking. I am a business person. I know how to do business, but I don't know how to file an income tax return. Government says no problem. You can take the help of a chartered accountant. You can take the help of tax practitioner. You can file return by yourself. If you don't want to file, you can take the help of what sir? Tax return preparer. T R P. This concept has been started in the year 2005. Important, eh? Not really, sir. But this will help the department to file more returns. मतलब इफ यू गिव अ फैसिलिटी टू समन दैट यूजिंग दिस पीपल यू कैन फाइल द रिटर्न दोज पीपल आर कॉल नथिंग बट वॉट्स अ टी आर पी टैक्स रिटर्न प्रिपेर राइट कंटिन्यू सर परमानेंट अकाउंट नंबर पैन पैन वील सी सर आई थिंक दिस दिस पैन इज आई थिंक यू आर सींग इन द न्यूज सर लिंकिंग ऑफ पैन इज बिकम नो मैंडेटरी लिंकिंग ऑफ पैन विथ आधार नंबर राइट ना आधार किसका रहेगा इंडिविजुअल्स का रहेगा इफ यू आर नॉट दिस वॉट्स एन अमेंडमेंट सर रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट मेड एन अनाउंसमेंट द थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ध्यान से सुनना है 31st of march 2021 is the last date to link the pan with aadhar those who do not link the pan with aadhar number their pan number will become inoperative you should have listened this in news right recently this due date has been extended now the extended date is what you know 30th of june 2021 agar aapko pata hai to theek hai not that important what is pan permanent account number see department identifies you with a number that numbering system is called nothing but what sir permanent account number it's a 10 digit number i will we'll discuss now chalo please continue sir interest under section 234 capital a for late filing of return of income yeah we will also learn if you don't file return of income within time what will happen two things can happen sir one is uh, you will ultimately have to pay late filing fee late filing fee bharna padega second is the thing but you, you will also end up paying what you know interest 234 a ke niche interest lagega one is called late filing fee third is called second is called interest continue sir late filing fee under section 234 capital f yeah if you observe this language of the law it's called late filing fee here fee matlab mandatory there is no option you have to pay the fee once you are filing the return late matlab if you are filing the return as belated return gone the case late filing fee is mandatory point number 1 point number 2 if you did not pay the tax in that within the due date you will end up paying interest also at what rate sir at the rate of 1 percentage am i clear yes sir okay please go through sir once sir. This is indirectly the index of the chapter. क्या क्या पढ़ेंगे हम लोग क्या क्या पढ़ेंगे Return of income के due dates पढ़ेंगे है ना बोलिए ना सर Yes sir. Then we will also learn if the return is a loss return, how to file the loss return. That's called 139.3 थर्टी नाइन थ्री है ना भाई सर सर यू वॉन्ट माउस सर यू कैन सेम माउस सर सर दिस इज कॉल वन थर्टी नाइन थ्री नेक्स्ट इज वन थर्टी नाइन फोर इज नथिंग बट वॉट्स आर बिलेट रिटर्न वन थर्टी नाइन फाइव इज नथिंग बट वॉट्स आर रिवाइज रिटर्न वन थर्टी नाइन नाइन इज नथिंग बट वॉट्स आर डिफेक्टिव रिटर्न यहाँ तक रिटर्न हो गए मोस्टली आफ्टर आई फाइल द रिटर्न गवर्नमेंट असेसमेंट करती है ब्रीफ असेसमेंट बोलते समरी असेसमेंट बोलते दट्स कॉल नथिंग बट समरी असेसमेंट नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट वॉट एवर यूल फाइल गवर्नमेंट विल एक्सेप्ट सर दे बिलीव एवरी वन इज ट्रू एंड करेक्ट तो हम लोग जो भी फाइल करते हैं गवर्नमेंट एक्सेप्ट कर लेती है बिलीविंग इट टू बी ट्रू एंड करेक्ट डज नॉट मीन गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट हैव अ राइट टू वेरीफाई दे हैव अ राइट टू वेरीफाई दट यू लर्न इन योर सी ए फाइनल स्क्रूटनी असेसमेंट बेस्ट जजमेंट असेसमेंट री असेसमेंट एंड सर्च एंड सीजर दट यू लर्न इन सी ए फाइनल सर इसको हम लोग बोलते हैं असेसमेंट प्रोसीजर सी ए फाइनल में एक चैप्टर है आपको आफ्टर आई फाइल रिटर्न दिस इज वॉट गवर्नमेंट कैन डू राइट ना अडिशनल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन नथिंग बट वॉट सर इफ यू डोट फाइल द रिटर्न इन टाइम वॉट विल हैपन नथिंग विल हैपन यू विल एंड अप पेइंग लेट फाइलिंग फी इफ यू फाइल द रिटर्न एज बिलेट रिटर्न अलॉग विद गवर्नमेंट विल ऑल्सो आस्क यू टू पे वॉट सर इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट अंडर विद सेक्शन अंडर सेक्शन टू थर्टी फोर कैपिटल ए आई मी क्लियर सर यस सर शेल वी मूव यस हाँ अभी अमेंडमेंट याद रखना वट इज अमेंडमेंट टिल नो वी ऑफ लर्न टू अमेंडमेंट्स यू ऑफ लर्न दीज आर द ओनली टू अमेंडमेंट्स फर्स्ट अमेंडमेंट इज नथिंग बट वेन द ड्यू डेट इज थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर द न्यू ड्यू डेट इज वॉट सर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टोबर एंड लिंकिंग ऑफ पैन विथ आधार जो लिंक करने का रूल था कि पैन को आधार से लिंक करो वट इज द ड्यू डेट थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉज द ड्यू डेट नो द ड्यू डेट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड टू वॉट सर थर्टी एथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ठीक है दट्स मे नॉट बी दट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम बट यस द फर्स्ट अमेंडमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम आई मे क्लियर सो कंपनी केस 
audit case and firm if you are a partner of a firm where firm books are subject to audit then what is the due date to file return in all the three cases 31st 31st of, of October. October am I clear yes this makes you the brief introduction of this chapter can we start now can we start sir yes sir is it any doubts in introduction no this is all given in section number 139 briefly section 139 140 bhi hai, 140 a bhi hai. I said those small small petty petty sections are there. We'll start the chapter, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Who is under obligation to file return of income? Yeah, very first point. Let us understand. Kis kis ko return dalna mandatory hai. Now, to understand, I don't know. Those who are listening these videos may be student. Uh, mostly the students only rahenge aap log. See, as a student, did you file a return? Mostly no. Because you are not under obligation to file return. What about me? I am a chartered accountant. I got a lot of sources of income. I got house property income. I got some salary income. I got my business coaching income. I got mar income from share market. So should I should have file return or not? Now the government has given some rules, a set of uh, regulations saying that if you are covered by these cases, return filing is mandatory. Exam will test karega, haan, case study. Mein dhyan se. They will give you a case study and they will ask you, in the given case, suggest whether the person should file return or not. Am I clear? Now let me tell you one thing very clearly. If you are covered by these four cases, case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, return filing is mandatory. If you are covered by these four cases, return filing is mandatory. Even if you are not covered by these four cases, you can still file return optionally. That's called voluntary return. Matlab, is cases may cover ho return filing karna hi karna padega. Agar ap nahi bhi covered ho, still you can file return what sir? Voluntarily if you want to file. Am I clear sir? Yes sir. Shall we start? Yes. Yeah, please sir. If a person is covered by any of the following four cases, then file of return of income is mandatory. What file? Filing of. What file? Filing. Please, please say If a person is covered by any of the following four cases, yes. then filing of return of income is mandatory. Yeah, return is mandatory. If you have a case, you will cover If you are covered by case 1 or case 2 or case 3 or case 4, return filing is mandatory. There are certain amendments which are brought by Finance Act 2029. Uh, not uh, 2020 by 2019 that also we'll discuss right please read sir carefully case one yeah if the person is a company mm -hmm. partnership firm llp yeah return of income filing is mandatory so who is covered by case one sir if you observe logically two people are covered if you are a company if you are a firm firm includes partnership firm as well as llp so if you are a company if you are a partnership firm if you are llp return dalna hi padega Profit raho na raho, right na tax liability raho na raho, interest raho na raho, you are under obligation to file return. Even if there is not even a single financial transaction during the year, still return filing is what sir, mandatory. So who is under obligation to file return in the very first case? A company, a partnership firm or a LLP. Please read again sir. Case 1. Yeah. If the person is a company, hmm? partnership firm, hmm? LLP, okay. return of income filing is mandatory. Karna hi padega. See, please understand, even if there is no tax liability, even if there is no what you call it, financial transaction, there is no tax income, government says does not really matter. If you are a company, if you are a partnership firm, if you are a LLP, return filing has become what sir, mandatory. Yes sir. This is to be done irrespective of total income and irrespective of tax liability and irrespective of profit. Super sir. Mm. Case 2. Yeah. In case if a person avails any specific exemption, yeah. then return of income filing would be mandatory if the total income without such specific exemption exceeds basic exemption limit. I will explain this point sir. Please try and understand. Ek bar isko explain kar deta hon. Hai, aapko different se explain karta hon. Just give me one minute. Or should I open a new document? Yeah, this way. See, I'll give an example. You should be knowing about section 13 uh, capital B. What is 13 B? Registered electoral trust. Electoral 13 trust. A? Registered political party. party. Registered political party, right? Na? Section 11, 12, 13 deals with uh, uh, this one, uh, charitable trust. Section 13 capital A, political parties. 13 capital B, electoral, electoral trust. trust. Likewise, section 10, 23 D, you may learn in CA final. Charitable institutes or what sir? Education institutes. Charitable hospitals. So, an example, both of them. We know that uh, we know that under section 10, uh -huh, under section 13, capital A, income of a registered political party, remember? Yes, sir. Is what you know exempt from tax. We know this answer. Ki in a case, if you're a registered political party, whatever you earn, mostly the answer is what exempt. What you cannot earn is a business income. Trading activity a political party cannot do. Yes, sir. So I'll just give you one new one declaration of income of a political party. Example, sir, a registered political party 
a registered political party provides the income statement as follows have a look how they give income from house property example 40 lakhs what they will do minus exemption under section what sir 13 capital how much 40 lakhs so outer column would be how much sir Baruna sir nil nil okay likewise second thing is they are giving declaration it will be the first Jara na, recording properly jara na. Okay, sir. Second is nothing but they cannot do business activity. They may have certain capital gains. Imagine, sir. They got some long term capital gains because of sale of some assets. A yeah, political party can also have obviously assets, right? They will have land, buildings with their name. So they got some capital gains of say 120 lakhs, 120 lakhs capital gains. Again, they will enjoy what, sir? Huh? Exemption under section what, sir? 13 capital A. How much? 120 lakhs. Auto column is what, sir? Nil. Nil. Imagine they also got what, you know? Uh, income from other sources which income they'll have mostly you know donation income yes sir Aba, pura political party jita hi hai donations pay nothing wrong sir a registered political party how they will survive only through donations right now so donations how much they got you know 200 crores donation they got crores crores the 20,000 lakhs that is also what sir huh examined under section what sir 13, 13 capital 13. A how much sir 200, 200 crores auto column again what nil. sir nil so if you observe the gross total income is how much sir huh nil, nil. Obviously, they don't claim any ATC to ATU. Bolo na, sir. ATC to ATU kuch claim kya, nahi no. claim kya. So, what is their total income if you observe? Nil. Their total income is also what, sir? Nil. Now, government says, if you observe, this political party, this my example, my political party, ABC political party, they are having huge size of income. Only because of exemptions, their ultimate tax liability is nil. Because the total income is nil. Now, government says what, you know, government says, had exemption not been there, what would have been an income? Samjo, please. I am now in the my chapter. Had exemption not been there, exemption nahi rahega to kya hoga? Well, sir, kya hoga? If exemption is not given, see the answer, na? If exemption is not given, this would have become outer column how much, sir? 40 lakhs. If exemption is not given, this would have become how much, sir? 120 lakhs. If exemption is not given, this would have become how much, sir? 200 crores. Therefore, my income would have become, I don't know how much. This would be some 201.6 uh, uh, crores. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Roughly, roughly. No, right now, Shayan, is your income without claiming exemption exceeding basic exemption limit? Now, what do you mean by basic exemption limit? Basic exemption limit is nothing but uh, more than 2.5 lakhs. Because in India, when an individual earns income up to 2.5, there is no need to pay tax, which is called basic exemption limit. Now, government says you are a special type of person. You are a person who is availing some special exemption under law. Had exemption not been there, would your income exceed basic exemption or not? Yes. If yes, please file return. And when you are filing return, no doubt you can file which return? Nil return. No need to pay tax. But return filing would become mandatory. Why? Right now, sir. Government should also verify whether all the conditions relating to exemption you are satisfied or not. How they will come to know once you file the return? So simply, even if there is not even one rupee, single rupee tax liability, still return filing would become mandatory when, when your total income without claiming exemption exceeds how much, sir? Basic exemption limit. Am I clear, sir? Can you please read the point again? Yes, sir. Are you bolona, sir, please. Yeah. Case number one is what, sir? What we are learning, if you remember? What we are learning is return filing when mandatory. Four cases. Case number one is nothing but what, sir? If you are a company, partnership form, LLP. Very simple. Case number two. If you are availing some special exemption under law, without that exemption, if your total income exceeds basic exemption limit, then return filing is mandatory. Yeah, please read Anandip. Case 2. Yeah. In case, if a person avails any specific exemption, yeah. then mm -hmm. return of income filing would be mandatory mm -hmm. if the total income without such specific exemption exceeds basic exemption limit. I hope I am very clear. Huh? Sub points, I am telling you, the trend has changed. Examiner is no more asking you simple, simple peanuts question. Everything they'll, they'll ask you in case study format. So, every point is important. We never know which point they'll test an exam, right? So, this point says very clearly, had special exemption not been there, what would have been your income? If that amount exceeds 2.5 lakh, filing return of income would become what, sir? Mandatory. Continue, sir. Case number 3. Yeah. In case of individuals, HUF, AOP, BOI and AJP. Almost every other person we are covering, if you observe. Persons may individual HUF, AOP, BOI, AJP, one group. Company partnership from LLP, one more group. Am I clear, sir? Continue. In case of individuals, HUF, AOP, BOI, and AJP, mm -hmm. written off income filing is mandatory mm -hmm. if total income added back with ATC to ATU, mm -hmm. added back with section 10AA, mm -hmm. added back with 10 subsection 38 mm -hmm. exceeds bell. 
वॉट बेल बेसिक एग्जामेशन एक्सीड्स बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट राइट ना सो वॉट दिस पॉइंट इज वॉट यू नो है इफ यू आर इंडिविजुअल नो डाउट वेदर आई शुड फाइल रिटर्न नॉट गवर्नमेंट ले मैन वर्षन गवर्नमेंट सेज इज यूर इनकम एक्सीडिंग बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट इफ यू एस प्लीज फाइल द रिटर्न इनकम अगर एग्जामेशन से ज़्यादा है तो आप प्लीज रिटर्न तो फाइल कर दो नो हियर वॉट एम टेलिंग जस्ट डोंट सी टोटल इनकम टोटल इनकम को आप एड बैक कर दो क्या एड बैक कर दो ए टी सी टू ए टू इनडायरेक्ट रिटर्न बिकम ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम ऑल्सो एड बैक वॉट सर टेन डबल ए इफ यू एड बैक ऑल दिस देन द इनकम कमिंग टू यू इफ इट इज एक्सीड बेसिक एग्जामेशन यू हैव टू यू आर सपोज टू फाइल वॉट सर रिटर्न नो डू वन करेक्शन हियर वॉट इज द करेक्शन यू नो टेन थर्टी एट इज नो मोर अपलिकेबल क्या है टेन थर्टी एट इफ यू रिमेंबर एनी वन वॉट इज टेन थर्टी लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल वेरी गुड लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन सेक्शन हैज बी नो रिमूव लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन हैज नो बीन रिप्लेस विद वॉट सर सेक्शन वन वन टू कैपिटल वेरी गुड सर वन वन टू कैपिटल सो दिस पॉइंट इज नो मोर रिलेवेंट एडेड बैक विथ टेन थर्टी एट रिमूव दिस पॉइंट ये पूरा पॉइंट निकाल के अब पढ़ो सर प्लीज इन केस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एच यू एफ ए ओ पी बी ओ एंड ए जे पी रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम फाइलिंग इज मैंडेटरी इफ इफ टोटल इनकम एडेड बैक विथ ए टी सी टू ए टी यू इनडायरेक्टली ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम हाँ एडेड बैक विथ सेक्शन टेन डबल ए एक्सीड्स बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट आई होप आई एम वेरी वेरी क्लियर आई एम ए क्लियर सो अगर आपकी ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम ले मैन वर्षन रिमेंबर सर इफ यूर जी टी आई एक्सीड्स बेसिक एग्जामेशन रिटर्न फाइलिंग इज मैंडेटरी सर वाई यू आर टेलिंग जी टी आई टेल यू टेन डबल ए इज ऑल्सो नॉट एग्जामेशन टेन डबल इज ऑल्सो डिडक्शन सेक्शन मैंने बोला था टेन डबल ए में द टेन डबल इज नॉट एन एग्जामेशन सेक्शन इट इज वॉट सर प्रॉफिट बेस्ड डिडक्शन सेक्शन राइट ना सो सिंपली रिमेंबर सर ये इसको ऐसे याद रख लो इफ यूर ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम जी टी आई एक्सीड्स हाँ बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट देन रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम फाइलिंग इज वॉट सर मैंडेटरी बट दिस पॉइंट इज अपलेबल फॉर होम ओनली फॉर इंडिविजुअल एच यू ऑफ ए ओ पी बी आई ए जे पी एम आई क्लियर कंटिन्यू वट अबाउट कंपनी फॉर कंपनी इनकम है नहीं है रिटर्न डालना है पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म इनकम है नहीं है रिटर्न डालना है एल एल पी इनकम है नहीं है रिटर्न डालना है इन तीनों को बाजू रखो इन लोगों के लिए कंडीशन है इनकम क्रॉस हुआ क्या चेक करो कितना क्रॉस होना है बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट देन रिटर्न फाइलिंग इज मैंडेटरी नाउ यू शुड रिमेंबर वन पॉइंट ये ना केयरफुल मैंने इसे बेसिक एग्जामेशन लिमिट लिमिट इज डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट पीपल आई टेल यू इफ आई एम अ रेसिडेंट वेरी सीनियर पर्सन वॉट इज द बेसिक एग्जामेशन टू पॉइंट फाइव रेसिडेंट वेरी फाइव लैक्स भैया हाँ याद करना पड़ेगा इन द केस इफ यू आर रेसिडेंट वेरी सीनियर पर्सन देन इनडायरेक्टली द एग्जामेशन इज हाउ मच फाइव लैक्स तो रिटर्न फाइलिंग वुड बिकम मैंडेटरी वैन इफ यूर टोटल इनकम ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम एक्सीड हाउ मच सर फाइव लैक्स सर मेरा है इफ आई एम रेसिडेंट सीनियर बट नॉट वेरी सीनियर हाउ मच लैक्स वेरी गुड थ्री लैक्स इन अ केस ऑफ अदर एस एस इज द आंसर इज हाउ मच सर टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स आई मे क्लियर सो ध्यान से इफ द क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन ऑन अ वेरी सीनियर रेसिडेंट The exemption limit is how much, sir? Five lakhs. If it is on resident senior, then three lakhs. If it is other cases, the answer is what, sir? Two point five. Chalo, please continue, sir. Case so number four. Condition one clear. Sorry, case number one clear. What is case one? Company partnership form LLP return filing mandatory. Case number two special exemption. Had special exemption not been there, what would have been your income? If that exceeds basic exemption, return filing is mandatory. In a case if you are an individual, HU of AOP, BOI, AJP. Return filing is mandatory when if your gross total income exceeds how much, sir? Basic exemption limit. Basic exemption can change from individual to individual. Continue, sir. Case number four. Yeah. Applicable only to resident and ordinary resident and residents. Now try to understand. I'll tell you this point. Don't get confused. I'm saying, don't get confused. Don't get confused. See, this point they may not test in exam, but still important, sir. 2012 may have amendment. 2012 may, but it was one of the important amendments. Generally, when I was a student, we have read only three cases. अभी फोर्थ केस क्या है मैं बताता हूँ सी इफ यू आर नॉट कोड बाई केस वन केस टू केस थ्री देन ओनली शुड कम टू केस फोर इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड बाई केस वन केस टू केस थ्री नो पॉइंट ऑफ कमिंग टू केस फोर बिकॉज एनी हाउ यू आर सपोज टू फाइल रिटर्न नो वॉट इज केस फोर सेज यू नो केस फोर सिंपली सेस बताऊँ बता दे रहा हूँ बताऊँ सर केस थ्री क्लियर फर्स्ट वन टू थ्री क्लियर इफ यू आर नॉट कोड बाई केस वन नॉट कोड बाई केस टू नॉट कोड बाई केस थ्री देन यू प्लीज टेस्ट केस नंबर फोर वॉट इज केस नंबर फोर दिस इज वॉट यू नो सी बींग अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया you are a individual and you are what sir resident of india being a resident of india you are having a bank account outside india the government ko doubt hai are being a resident of india if you are having a bank account outside india obviously certain income you may be hiding outside india so they want those type of people to file return now so they brought some conditions in point number of case number 4 saying that if you are having a bank account outside india then return filing is mandatory in india likewise if you are having any asset outside india 
then you are supposed to file return of income in India. Matlab, being a resident, don't mind. Imagine there are certain film actors. Let not name them. They got a lot of assets outside India. Though they are resident of India, though they earn income from India, they are creating wealth where you know outside India. Government says being resident of India, if you are having any asset outside India, please file return return of income in India. What's sir? Mandatory. So in case number four, total three points are there. Point number one, if you are having what's sir? Bank account outside India. Simple point. Or if you are having any asset what's sir? Outside India. When I say asset, it may be a capital asset, it may not be a capital asset. It may be a small car also. Matlab, imagine I am a person of India, I am a resident of India, but I have a car in USA. Government says return filing in India would become what sir? Mandatory. Case number three, you are not having any bank account outside India. You are not having any asset outside India. But you have financial interest in an entity outside India. Now what do you mean financial interest? I am a partner of a foreign partnership firm. Matlab, imagine there are some, uh, there is a foreign partnership firm. There, one of the partners is Ashwin Gilda. Being a resident of India, I am having financial interest in an entity where outside India, government says return filing would become what, sir? Mandatory. Am I clear? So, case number 4, how many points are there? 3 points. Point number 1, bank account outside India or asset, asset outside, outside India, India or financial, financial interest, interest in an entity outside India. Is that clear? Small, small changes now. Listen. Government says account may not be in your name. If you are having signing authority, that is also sufficient. Example, samjho. account is not in my name, it is not in my mom's name, but it is in authority. I mean, Ashwin Gilda, being a resident of India, does not have any bank account in outside India. Who has? Mother has. But mother has given that signing authority to Ashwin Gilda. Government says, Ashwin Gilda, you are having what? Signing authority in a bank account outside India. If you have a signing authority, gone the case, you are supposed to file what, sir? Return of income in India. Am I clear? Likewise, one more thing. Don't confuse, huh? Sometimes you may not be the owner of the asset outside India, but you may be beneficial owner. What may beneficial owner? The asset is not in my name. The asset is in the name of my brother. But rental income I enjoy. Matlab, mere paas deed hai mere bhai ka. Income, matlab, India mein main resident hoon. Asset kaan pe hai? US mein hai. Owner koon hai? Mera brother owner hai. Par rental income koon enjoy kar raha? Main enjoy kar raha. Government says, even if you are not owner, but you are what sir? Beneficial owner. Then also return of income filing in India is what sir? Mandatory. Am I clear? Yes sir. Thoda confused ma thona. Sun mein aara hai? Haan, phir se pura revise kara dunga. Don't worry. Continue sir. Case number 4. Case number 4. Yeah. Applicable only to resident and ordinary resident yeah. and residents. Yeah. If a person is resident and ordinary resident, mm. individual and HF, mm. or mm. if a person is resident, any other person. Hmm. Return of income filing would be mandatory if any of the following conditions are met. See, principally if you understand, case number 4 will not apply if you are non-resident, right now. A Japanese person will have a bank account in Japan only. You cannot ask him, come and file return in India because they are having a bank account in Japan. No. But this point is completely applicable. Having a resident status in India, you are having accounts where outside India. Government want to catch those high worth net persons, right now. Please read again, sir, full point. If a person is resident and ordinary resident, yeah. individual and HF, or yeah. if a person is resident, any yeah. other person. Yeah, one minute, sir. See, here I am asking about those individuals and HF who are R and OR. Individual can have three statuses resident and ordinary resident, resident but not ordinary resident, non resident. This point will apply only to first category of uh, individuals. Those individuals who are resident as well as what? Ordinary resident. Now, if you remember, there is an amendment in residential status, huh? they can mix this point right now. But amendment there we have learned only for resident but not ordinary resident. 120 days ka logic, yeah, then, yes, sir. Hmm, continue. Uh, return of income filing would be mandatory if any of the following conditions are met. Yeah, if any of the following conditions are met. Continue, sir. If the person has any asset outside India. Super. If you are having any asset where? Outside, outside India. India, India se aapka koi asset se. It may be land, building, shares, car, gold, jewelry, any asset. Continue. If a person has any account in his Sir, name. you have to write in between or. Huh? Huh. If a person has any account in his name outside India hmm. or has signatory authority for such account <coughs> outside India. Super. Huh? Or hmm. if a person has financial interest in an entity outside India. Super. Na? Financial Example. interest in an entity outside India. Example. Bola na? Imagine in a foreign partnership form, I am a partner or. Second example, in a foreign company, I am holding shares of a foreign company. Gone the case, in a foreign entity, you are having financial interest, return filing would become mandatory. Am I clear? Read, sir, please. Third point. If a person has financial interest in an entity outside India, yeah. example, shareholding of a foreign company, 
partner of for, foreign partnership firm etc yeah continue note if a person is not under obligation to file a return still he can file a return voluntarily yeah still there is a concept of what sir voluntary return am i clear yes sir ab dhyan se total kitne cases padhe hum logo ne four cases ek bar revise kar lete hain case number 1 company partnership firm llp simple chhod do case number 2 special exemption hai aapke paas had not exemption not been there what would have been your gross total income uh, sorry total income if your total income without exemption exceeds basic exemption return filing is mandatory case number 3 If you are an individual, HUF, AOP, BOI, AJP, and your gross total income leave ATC to ATU, leave 10 double A. If your gross total income exceeds basic, basic exemption, exemption return limit. filing is mandatory. Mostly, mostly to file return, you should be covered by any of these three points. If you are not covered by three, then go to case number four. Case number four, maybe we got three cases again. Case num- you are uh, to apply case number four, you should be what R and O R or resident of India, right? Case number one, you are having what sir bank account outside India or You are having what sir financial interest in an entity outside India, or third case is nothing but what sir you are uh, you are having what any asset any asset outside India three points here. If any of these three points are applicable to you, in that case return of income filing would become what sir mandatory. Am I clear? See even if you are not covered by any of these four cases, case one, case two, case three, case four, still you can file return what sir voluntarily. Am I clear up to here? Yes, sir. right. If you remember, in 2019 uh, we got few amendments. I mean, indirectly we got one more case, which is not covered here. We'll write here, sir. Please write, now, sir, somewhere. Yes, Can sir. you take the notes and write? I'll explain. Take notes, banalo, banalo, please. I need to ask you. I'll scan and update. Okay. Write, now, write it out, sir. Just one minute, ah. I mean, the notes is not updated, sir. There is one more case now. Case number five. Case number five, which is amendment by. फिनेंस एक्ट 2019 अब 2019 में भी कुछ अमेंडमेंट्स आए मतलब गवर्नमेंट से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स अगर इतने ज़्यादा चाहते हैं देन यू आर सपोज टू फाइल रिटर्न वो सब केसेस देखेंगे सर गवर्नमेंट कैसे पकड़ना चाहती है लोगों को इट्स देर इन माय डीटी बुक आई विल क्लोज दिस गो टू डी टी कैन यू टेल मी द पेज नंबर सर रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम के पेज नंबर सर इट्स अबाउट टू हंड्रेड हाँ अबाउट टू हंड्रेड वेरी गुड सर Yeah, it's given in page number two one seven. It's given in page number two one seven. Can you come to page number two one seven, everyone? Page number two hundred seventeen. I've given it. Don't worry, I'll share the link below. Can you come to page number two one seven? This is indirectly like case number five, no? Hello. Yes, sir. You are having material, sir. So will you write or will you read? We'll read. You'll read, na? No, case number five is very different case, sir. I'll tell you, sir. When I was a student, there was a point in uh, law, you know, if you are having a mobile phone, you please file return. You may feel it's a joking. No, I'll tell you because at that point of time, incoming, outgoing, both were chargeable, sir. Hefty rates were there. Outgoing was like sixteen rupees per minute. Incoming was like eight rupees. Now the government felt only those people are having lot of money they can afford a mobile phone. So we have read, sir. If you are having a 150 squares of land, return filing is mandatory. If you are having a car, return filing is mandatory. If you are having a mobile phone, return filing is mandatory. No, similar points government is bringing from Finance Act 2019. Slow you read, sir. Slowly you read. Compulsory filing of income tax return. Yeah. Addition by Finance Act 2019. Yeah, very important. Now, a person other than company or firm mm-hmm. who is not required to furnish a return as per Section 139, Subsection 1. Huh? And who during the previous year? Yeah, total four points are there, but only three points are relevant for you because fourth point means nothing is prescribed till now. Yes, point number one, sir, has deposited an amount or aggregate of the amounts exceeding one crore rupees in one or more current accounts maintained with a banking company or a cooperative bank. I think very simple, sir. If you observe three key words here, if you are see when you will have a current account when you do business or profession in India. सेविंग्स अकाउंट में ये पॉइंट नहीं अप्लाई होगा इफ यू आर हैविंग अ करंट अकाउंट इन एनी बैंक और अ कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एंड इन दैट बैंक यू आर मेकिंग अ डिपॉजिट ऑफ कैश एक्सेडिंग हाउ मच सर वन करोड़ गॉन्द गेज रिटर्न फाइलिंग इज मैंडेटरी तो गवर्नमेंट बोलती है और यू आर एक करोड़ से ज़्यादा डिपॉजिट कर रहा है ए इट्स नॉट सिंगल टाइम वन करोड़ हाँ टोटल डिपॉजिट ड्यूरिंग द ईयर इफ द टोटल डिपॉजिट ड्यूरिंग द ईयर एक्सीड्स हाउ मच सर वन करोड़ रिटर्न फाइलिंग इज मैंडेटरी But don't forget this point will not apply for savings account. It applies only to what sir? Current, current account. Accounts. So if you are having a current account with a banking company in India and you make a deposit in those accounts exceeding how much sir one crore? I'll ask you a doubt. I am having two bank accounts. 
one with Axis Bank, one with ICICI Bank. In the first account, I am depositing 75 lakhs. In the second account, I am depositing 75 lakhs. Will you join these accounts? No. No. Because it's with each banker. Am I clear, sir? Sir, I am Axis Bank se 75 lakhs. Hai. ICICI Bank se 75 lakhs. Hai. So, will this criteria be met? No. Thereby, I am not called by this point. Question number two. I am having two accounts with ICICI Bank only. Two current accounts with ICICI Bank only. Government says, PAN number would be same for both the accounts. Thereby, they will aggregate here. Am I clear? So, if you are having a account with which account? Current account with any banking company, including a cooperative bank, and the deposits in those accounts exceeds how much, sir? One crore. Return filing would become what, sir? Mandatory. Am I clear? Yes, yeah. sir. Continue, sir. Has incurred expenses. Yeah, this is first point, sir. Ye case number five is first point. Hai, huh? Continue, sir. Or has incurred expenditure of an amount or aggregate of the amounts exceeding two lakh rupees for himself or any other person for travel to a foreign country. I think this point is self-explanatory, sir. Matlab, government bolte hai, aap shock much karne bahar ja rahe. You are doing a travel where? Outside India. No, see, they simply said foreign travel. They never said recreation. Matlab, imagine I travel to Dubai to take classes uh, for ICI. Even that is also covered here. Please read the point again. Nowhere the term recreation has been used. Matlab, imagine I am a business person. I keep on traveling all over the world. I will be covered by this point. If you are doing a foreign travel, am I clear? And your total travel cost exceeds how much, sir? 2 lakh rupees during the financial year. Gone the case, you are caught by this point. Am I clear? Please read, sir. Has incurred expenditure of an amount or aggregate of the amounts exceeding 2 lakh rupees for himself or any other person for travel to a foreign country. Am I clear? Hmm, continue. Or has incurred expenditure of an amount or aggregate of the amounts exceeding rupees 1 lakh towards consumption of electricity. And this is like too much point, sir. See, if you observe, this point they should have written only for business people. Na? This point will apply even if you are consuming electricity at home. Imagine at my home, I got 20 air conditions. Example here, meri marzi hai. Meri baad baut paisa hai. Har room mein char-char AC hai. Government says, if your power bill during the year, son mein hai, pure saal mein apka power bill agar 1 lakh se jada exceed hota hai, gone the case, you are supposed to file return. Now, the government ka bhi conditions ego, they feel, Anyone who can afford to pay more than 1 lakh rupees electricity bill during the whole year, obviously they are high worth SSEs, let them ask to file a return. Now to understand, companies uh, which are having a larger in a factory setup, 1 lakh rupees is like very nominal right now. Their monthly bill may go around 5-7 lakh rupees. This is poor a saal mein aggregate bill, right? Per annum, if the electricity cost paid by you is more than how much sir? 1 lakh, return filing is mandatory. So try to understand, simple point, first point is deposit, deposit in a current, current account. account, exceeding how much, 1, one crore. crore, second point, or or foreign travel for yourself or for any other person, I did not travel outside India, but my mother has travelled, example, but I have taken care of her travelling cost, government says, if you travel or you are incurring travelling cost for some other person, where the travelling cost exceeds how much sir, 2 lakh, Two lakh rupees. rupees, exceeds, huh? cross karna hai, to return filing is mandatory, third point is nothing but what sir, if you are paying electricity bill during the financial year, exceeding how much, sir? One, One lakh rupee. Con the case return filing is mandatory. Very different points, na? Future may dire dire add hoga. Aise bhi bol sakti hai government. If you are having a BMW car, return filing is mandatory. They may bring in future. Right now, three additional points are given. Am I clear? Indirectly, this is a, some criteria to catch high worth SSEs. Am I clear? Ah, chalo. Or fulfills hmm. such other conditions as may be prescribed. Yes. Shall furnish a return of his income on or before the due date in, yes. in such form yeah. and verified in such manner and setting forth such other particulars as may be prescribed. I hope I am very very clear. I am clear up to here sir. Ek bar padlo sir. So please come back to the material. Material this is what page number 217. Yes sir. Yeah please write there case number 5. Refer. Please write there. Refer page number 217. 217. Important yeah. Intentionally, I did not update the material so that I can discuss separately. Please. Yeah, amendment ek se, Finance Act 2017. Poor points karne ge. Deposit exceeding 1 crore in current account. Or second point is what, sir? Second point? Travel. Uh, travel Traveling foreign cost, travel. foreign travel, where the travel cost exceeds how much, sir? 2 lakhs. Two, two lakhs. Electricity. Now, government has to define what is travel cost, whether it includes a hotel stay or not, that they have to clarify. Third part is nothing but electricity, sir, electricity bill. bill per annum exceeds how much, sir? 1 lakh. 1 lakh rupee. Gone the case, return filing is mandatory. So, what have we discussed, kiya, sir? Abhi introduction discussed, and we have discussed who is under obligation to file return of income. Am I clear? 
टोटल फाइव केसेस याद है चलो यू कैन रिवाइज सर वंस विल टेक द नोट्स फॉरवर्ड शेल वी